Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name's Amanda, and I'm so glad you're here. My kids are finally back to school after Christmas break, so it's just me here, and we're getting back into the routine of just day-to-day -day life, how it normally is. I'm home alone today. The kids are at school. Everybody's at work, so it's just me, and these are just some of the things I try to do every single day to stay on top of things. It's like fighting a fire around here. If I don't stay on top of things and pick up things, usually every day, all day, then I get behind. I, it's like I can't keep my head above water. So I was just gonna give you all a glimpse of what it looks like here on a daily basis, the things I do to stay on top of my housework. Kennedy got this Eno for her birthday and she's had it, well, her birthday was in August, so she's had it for a few months, and we don't have trees or anything in her yard, not like big enough to hang a hammock on. Sometimes if she has a ball tournament, then there's trees. Sometimes it's like a park area, and there's trees and things that she could use it for. So she bought this hammock stand, and when it came, the hammock, it, like the Eno wouldn't stretch from one side to the other. It was too short. So it was just off by like maybe six inches. I don't know, but we could not get it to stretch. So Alden went to Lowe's and bought these little chains just so we could link it and make it, you know, work. So after I put that together and I laid in it, then it stretched it out a little bit. So we didn't even need the chain. So now it fits. So it was perfect. But we don't dry a lot of our shirts. We'll hang them on these little this little drying rack and let them dry that way because sometimes it seems like the dryer shrinks some things up or makes some of our shirts too short so that's what I was doing there so I'm just picking up all of this stuff in the dining room Allie had her volleyball bag sitting there so I was just going to get all of that stuff cleaned out cleaned up off the table and get this dining room back in shape I headed up to Allie's room just to check it because you all know I cleaned it in the last video and I was just going to make sure that everything looked good. And it did. She's done really good about keeping everything picked up and putting its place. So all I did in here was made her bed. I didn't vacuum or anything like that. I just cleaned her carpet in the last video. And then I did buy some OxyClean and I went over her carpet and it looks so much better. The only thing left on her carpet is that blue fingernail polish that's been there for like six months or something. And I'm not sure how to get that out. But most of the stains are gone, so it looks brand new. And she's done really good about not getting makeup everywhere. So she had this little red Christmas blanket. And I need to put that up. But she had that in her room. So I stretched that out over her bed. And then I vacuumed these stairs. These stairs stay so dirty. So I was just going to vacuum those. And I love this Dyson for that. I remember in our old house, I would have to drag that shark corded vacuum cleaner up and down the stairs and it was a workout so I'm loving this Dyson I love it if you have stairs in your house it would be a good investment they are pricey but I promise you it is worth it So here in my room, I just made the bed and I did vacuum because it's been a while since I vacuumed in here, opened the blinds and that's pretty much all I did. We bought this safe maybe about a month ago and just to keep some things in and paperwork and just important things like that, fireproof, all that stuff. So that's what that is. It's big and it's bulky and we don't have anywhere else to put things like that. The other wall in this bedroom is just like food storage. It's um, gallons of water and I've, I have a video on all that. Things that we buy up just to stock up for an emergency. So this room is kind of just like a storage room, but you know, 
I've got a place to sleep. I've got a place to lay my head and I'm blessed. So I don't mind what's in here. It's nothing fancy at all for sure. But the end Kennedy's room, um, this is the dog hair room. <laughs> this, there's dog hair everywhere. And after I made her bed, I did strip it back off and throw it in the washer because the dog hair was so bad, it just bothered me. You just never know. I had no motivation on this day so if you ever feel like you're alone you're not because I did not feel like getting up and doing anything but I knew if I didn't I would be so far behind the next day so I found those tongs in her room and I had forgot about it and when I was editing this video she was sitting next to me and she seen it and she just busted out laughing and I was like Kennedy what in the world did you have tongs in your room for and she said I dropped my remote behind my bed and I couldn't reach it so I got those tongs to get the remote I was like okay well I was wondering so <laughs> that's what those were in there for but I just made her bed and vacuumed and that's all I did in here we were moving in the dark with every breath we take you're falling I ain't got no time for romance but baby I don't want to lead you on not looking for something steady not ready for that I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you here's your time to shout out show me what you can do make a move the way my hands feel on your body we were dancing in the dark with every move I'm bathroom wasn't too bad. I didn't clean the tub. I just pulled the shower curtain closed. I cleaned the toilet because honestly I could probably clean this toilet every day because it needs it. But I just took the trash out, cleaned the toilet, wiped the sink down and didn't do the mirror or anything like that. I did vacuum because there was some stuff in the floor but that's all I did in here. I just like to keep this bathroom put together that way if we have company or somebody stops by and needs to use the bathroom it's not in terrible shape because sometimes it is and if I don't stay on top of it then it gets really really bad that has ever happened to you here's your time to shine out show me what you can do make a move the way my hands feel on your body the way we're dancing in the dark with every move I make you're falling up some of our Christmas candles just because I didn't want to put them up I just wanted to use them we can buy new next year but this candle smells so good the whole end of this house was smelling like peppermint it smelled so good this bathroom is just small and basic but I would like to get a new shower curtain and a new rod to hang it on um, our old house we had the shower curtain that kind of angles out a little bit so I'd like to get one of those and get a new shower curtain for in there there's nothing wrong with that shower curtain it does have a stain on it toward the bottom um, I think it looks like fingernail polish or something don't know how that got there but I was just gonna vacuum this hallway and then I've got the whole end of this house picked up it's not deep cleaned by no means but it's presentable if we had company or somebody came over it at least is picked up and cleaned so I was doing laundry on this day this is a rare occasion because I usually don't do laundry 
Heather does all the laundry, but I wanted to get this blanket cleaned and then I needed to do a load of towels and then I did Kennedy's comforter. So I was doing some laundry just because I noticed we had a lot of towels that needed to be cleaned and that blanket we keep on the couch and that needed to be cleaned. So that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> this watermelon candle at Walmart this past weekend and it smells so good if you like the watermelon scent it smells just like the gum like the bubble gum that's watermelon flavored that's what it smells like my mom hates the smell of watermelon it makes her so sick not like the fruit watermelon but the scent like the gum I know growing up I could never have watermelon gum because it made her sick to smell it I'm not sure why but I'm just folding these blankets up. We always have a bunch of blankets in the living room that we just always cover up with. We keep our heat on 66 because our electric bill is like four or $500. It's crazy high. Huh? So we keep our heat on 66 hoping to save some money. Who knows? But this little kitten, Heather found a stray little kitten. And of course she had to be its mom. So he's here for the time being. And he is pretty cute. So we always throw everything on the back of this couch. It's a big catch-all space like socks because Flash will chew them up. So if we have socks on and we want to take them off or a heat pad or anything, we'll throw it up there on the back of the couch. So we have the heat pad and all that stuff. And of course, he's chewed up a million little things all over the floor. So I was just going to get the big stuff picked up so I could vacuum. Now, hey. our kitchen always looks like this this is the next day when i'm doing this voiceover and our kitchen already looks like that all over again we cooked peppered steak and rice last night for supper so we have a big mess because i didn't pick it up last night so today as soon as i get this video uploaded i'll be at this again i'll be making the beds and vacuuming if it needs it and throwing a load of laundry in there and loading a dishwasher and it's every day this is just every day and if i don't then it's just a mess and i just have that much more to do the next day so trash guys do you all have a lot of trash in your house we have i bet we go through a bag a day or more of trash i mean it's just crazy at the trash and i just went to the grocery store on this day my daughter and her husband both have covid so i went to the grocery store on this day and took them groceries and dropped them off at the door and then i got a few things for us and my kids pack lunches you know heather packs lunch for work and then we have supper and all that stuff and it's just so expensive i don't know if your all's grocery bill is like mine but i bet we spend 300 dollars a week on groceries and we could do better i know we could fix cheaper things you know we don't always go cheap when we fix meals and we could do better but groceries are so expensive and i don't even know with the electric bills being so high and grocery bills being so high i don't know how people make it that are on a fixed income like older people i just I know that it has to be so, so hard. Here, I'm just refilling the coffee, trying to unbox what I can to make more room. 
I go to grab the Lysol under the sink and I notice that our drain's leaking. I was trying to cut the water off and I called Alden and I was like, we have a leak, you know, what do I do? And he was telling me what to do and he was like, it sounds like it's the drain. So cutting the water off is not gonna help. Just don't pour anything down the drain. So I end up stopping the dishwasher because I didn't want all that water draining out and leaking, but it is always something around here. Oh no. Anxiety creeps up on me Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over I got someplace that I gotta be It won't leave My friends say Get out of your comfort zone It's a blessing in disguise Get out of what you I don't need y'all's help I don't need your help Go It might feel just but seriously, guys, it's always something around here. We were sitting in the living room the other night and we heard this huge boom. And it sounded like it came from the front porch. So I go outside and look and I don't see anything. And the wind's blowing pretty bad. So I was like, well, it's probably a rocking chair. It may have hit the house. Like the wind blew a rocking chair into the house or something. And so we went into Heather's closet and the rod had fell so all of the clothes were in the floor so we've got that to do this weekend and then this drain we're going to get this drain fixed but seriously guys it's always something i don't know if you guys feel like that but every time we turn around there is something tearing up or whatever but yeah wipe down the front of our appliances in a wall so I was just using that cleaner and polish to clean this up and while I'm cleaning this refrigerator I noticed that I missed that spot up top and I was like you've got to be kidding me that bugged me so bad but at the end I do go back and get it so at least I got that and didn't leave that spot there because it was bugging me so bad as I was watching I was like oh my gosh I missed a spot but I did get it right here oh it does Usually when I'm cleaning, I'll start in the main area of the house. I know I started in the bedrooms pretty much today, but if I can keep the dining room, kitchen, living room, and that little bathroom clean, then I feel like it's at least presentable. You know, there's not a lot of people that come in your house that's going to go in your bedrooms. But the main part of the house was clean. We did take that hammock down later and I still need to put that stand in the garage. But I just wanted to vacuum these floors up and I was going to mop, but our sink leaked. So I was like, it's going to end up dirty because they're going to be working underneath the sink. So I'll just leave that alone. So I didn't mop, but I did vacuum. <laughs> places all at once I bet you think that I should calm down my vacuum cleaner had died so I had to use the broom and this little kitten CC she is always fascinated by me vacuuming or sweeping or mopping or something like that she's always at my feet when I'm doing that but I just went in Heather's room. I made the bed. I picked the makeup and the hair things up out of the floor. And then I just picked her bathroom up. This bedroom and bathroom, she cleaned that just a couple of days ago. So everything was deep cleaned and dusted. I just needed to put things back where they went. I started not to do this room and the bathroom, but I was like, well, if I just do those two rooms, then I'll have the whole house done. And I felt so accomplished. By the time I was done, I was like, it just feels so good. But then you turn around and you have to do it all over the next day because what my house looked like in the beginning of this video, it 
looks like that this morning. So it's just every day. And if I can just stay on top of it every day, then it doesn't get too bad because I get so overwhelmed by the mess. And when I'm overwhelmed, I don't function well. Like I just don't have the motivation to do it. So if you just stay on top of things and keep things picked up, then it's so much easier just to pick up little messes than to just wait and let it pile up. And then you have a ton to do. And I get so overwhelmed by that. So this is just what I try to do on a daily basis to keep this house in order. Because if I don't, it gets really, really bad. Don't let me go when I come real close. I don't want to get hurt. The girls had just gotten home from school, so they were so excited to see that the hammock was finally working, put together and working. So I hope this gave you some motivation just to do these little things every day. It's so much easier just to pick up a little mess than it is to get overwhelmed and have a huge mess. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some motivation. And if you're new, I hope you stick around. And thanks so much for watching. It means so much to me. Get in it. Me and Heather already has Aunt Allie. You sit in it? No, he won't. You, got <laughs> you sit down. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, I'm gonna fold it. Now get in it. Ah, my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> now cuddle all of it. There you go. Stop, Flash. Get down. See so what I'm saying? You can tie a knot and make it tighter. Is the knee tighter? Well, I mean, it might as it stretch. No, you're not near the floor, but it might as you stretch it out. And it's upside so down. Lay. Flash. Flashy. Hey. Lay. Flash. Oh. oh. <laughs> Flash. Bite it. Don't bite on it. Hey. Hey. Mm -hmm. He's not a fan, is he? He's like, get me on it. <laughs> he feels like he's on a float in the pool. Yeah.